Welcome back everyone. I am still working on the electric derby and I'm trying to fix my mini lathe with new gears. In my last video I shredded the gears. They were plastic and now I'm going to replace them with some metal ones. I got these new metal ones from Little Machine Shop. These are the old plastic ones. This is the completely destroyed one in the back. This is the new one. So I'm going to try to install these today. You can see I completely sheared a tooth off here. Hopefully this one will go right back in. So this part actually goes down inside of here. So I'm going to put this in here. I believe it went this way. So if I, if I put this in the wrong way, then my high low will be backwards. So now I got to drive this piece through and line up those keyways. That seemed way too easy. Then this bearing goes in. So I need to put a little pipe around it and bash it down. Ooh, that's nice. All right, so far so good. Now this piece goes on like that, and then there's a little pin. I believe that pops in right here. Then we have this gear. This one goes on here though, like that, right? Pretty good. Then we have these two lockers. That's pretty good. We'll put on this one and tap this guy in and tap this one out. All right. There are a couple little mount holes here. Those are M4s. These covers were not attached when I took it apart. So I don't know if the previous owner just didn't care or what, but I do want to put those back on. You have to put on, you have to put in through this little hole. Oop. It's not the end of the world, but it is a little tricky. I don't know if you can see this. And I'll do the rest of these. All right, so now the main thing is, this gear has to be able to free float on this. And it's not really. And it has to be able to slide back and forth pretty easily. So I just kinda wanna make sure that it actually can, and right now it can't. I'm just gonna lube it up a little bit and just kind of pop it through. I ran it through here a bunch and then I sanded it just a little so it is a lot smoother now. And I think that's pretty good. So now this thing has to go in here. I think here. I'm gonna put this bearing in first. Basically, what I'm doing right now is I gotta put this guy in here like that. And then I have to fish this through it. This is assembly lube. It's for a two-stroke engine, but it works great for for everything. And while I'm doing this, I actually wonder if I can get this thing in there. A little fork. All right, so you see that? That slides back and forth. All right. Now if I can tap this into that bearing without popping that bearing out. Whew. Yeah, this part, this part sucks. But it wants to press, when I press this through, it wants to press that bearing out. So I think I need a clamp. 
put this bearing in. Right, like that. Then put this one back in. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's in there. Now we can drive this bearing down. We just need a little thingy to slide over that. Oh, perfect. All right. Now let's slide this stuff up. So that thing spins really nicely and yep transmission works all right I'm gonna grease the crap out of this grease see I'm just gonna throw it in there with my hand side we have another little little thingy put that little guy in put this little guy in this gear is for the belt drive all right there we go we have a little circlip oh, I'm gonna have to like deep clean everything all right good to go now we should be able to put this back on top of the lathe got the metal gears back in put it all back together it seems to run really good I'm glad I upgraded to those metal gears the plastic ones would have crapped out anyways eventually and now I know that this has taper bearings so I don't need to upgrade those and now I'm gonna get back to making this uh, sprocket spacer I'll post a link where I got these gears thank you for following along please like and subscribe